With every wave, a little bit of Dead Man's Island washes away, and with it, a little bit of history. Hurricane Dennis came through and exposed six coffins, uh, seven coffins, for us to um, verify that it was a yellow fever quarantine station like all the documentation shows. The waters around the island also provide the final resting place for several shipwrecks. Now another vessel is being used to build a barrier. And this is the first time it's ever been installed in, a, uh, in an environment where we can actually you know, see the results of it. Orange Beach businessman David Walter invented the stackable reefs called EcoDisc. It uses uh, natural limestone rock. The water, it does not stop the flow of water. Water can flow through it. It just breaks the wave energy up. It also provides uh, estuary for small marine animals. This project will be complete in just another couple of days. It already seems to be working, and this experiment has already caught the interest of several agencies. The Army Corps for NOAA, uh, a lot of the federal agencies are looking at Dead Man's Island to determine transferability of different methods of shoreline stabilization, um, including breakwaters, planting, seagrass restoration. When finished, the artificial reef could provide a bridge from the present into history and keep Dead Man's Island from disappearing forever. In Gulf Breeze, Debbie Williams, News 5.